Again, it's Nina Turner with the Global Disney Generic. All right, number one question. Now that we've seen episode four, what is WandaVision about? Hmm. WandaVision is about this uh, um, strange occurrence happening in this town called Westview uh, in New Jersey. Um, from, the, from the perspective of Jimmy Wu, he arrives into this town uh, on a missing person's case because someone has gone missing and he discovers that there is in fact this missing town. And um, uh, not only that, but the people uh, around the town and near the town don't remember that this town even exists. So it's this real puzzle that, that he and uh, um, uh, Monica Rambeau and, and Darcy Lewis uh, attempt to, to, to solve. Um, uh, and and within, this, within this world is essentially uh, this idyllic, sitcom life that that kind of changes from various uh eras uh, of sitcom and uh, uh um and in that world is wanda and vision and 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 uh, uh basically uh, jimmy woo and, and and the team are, are are trying to figure out what's going on why do you think fans love wanda and vision and the relationship so much uh, well, I think fans love Wanda and Vision uh, for many reasons. I think in part because um, Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany are just incredible performers and, and very, very fun to watch. But I also think that there's, there's a real uh, a love story there that I think is, 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 is so, um, so beautiful. And, uh, and, and to see them together in love and, and happy is just something that, that is, uh, it's just so fun and watchable, especially in, in, in these sitcom formats for Wanda, in WandaVision, uh, to see that, that they are, you know, that they're living this kind of ideal life, but then to also have that life kind of slowly break apart and, 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 and crack and, and, and to see that there, there's something going on there that shouldn't be, uh, I think makes it really interesting. But ultimately it's, it's, it's these, these two uh, just amazing superheroes played by these amazing actors uh, that makes them so, so fun to see. How do you feel about returning to the MCU as part of this first ever Disney Plus series? I am so excited to be a part of uh, the first series, uh, Marvel Studios series on Disney Plus. I just think it's an honor uh, to, to be kicking it off. Um, uh, in particular, to, to, to be able to, to, to perform in this show uh, because this show is so different. It's so unusual. It's so uh, uh, risk-taking. And, uh, but it's also just so, so smart and clever and, and, uh, and there, there's so much heart in it. And, and uh, I just think that it's, it's just such a unique uh, experience that, that to, be a, to be a part of this show, it, it's really a, truly a thrill for me. Speaking of that, introduce your character when we last saw him and what brings him to this new mission? So uh, we last saw Jimmy Woo uh, in uh, the movie Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, uh, where he uh, was trying to essentially uh, make sure that uh, uh, Scott Lang stayed on house arrest and uh, uh, um, in San back in San Francisco. And, and now we jump uh, many years later where Jimmy Woo has been called to uh, figure out what was going on with this town, uh, which has essentially disappeared, uh, uh, all of its inhabitants and, and, uh, and the town itself. Uh, and, and everyone around the town has no recollection of this town ever existing. And, and he's been tasked to, uh, to, to, to figure out uh, exa what exactly is happening and, and to solve this puzzle. What is it about Jimmy Woo that makes him so appealing to fans? Uh, I think Jimmy Woo is appealing to fans because uh, 
he, he, he's a bit of an unusual character in that he is a, a, an FBI agent and, you know, traditionally FBI agents in TV and, and film, ha, you know, have been these tough guys, these alpha males, um, these badasses. And uh, Jimmy is a, a little different in that he's, he's very earnest and sincere and sweet and there, there's a childlike nature to him. Uh, but he's also, at the same time, he's very good at his job and he's very focused on, on, on figuring this out. And, uh, and, uh, and there, there's a badass thing about him too, but there, there's also this real desire to connect to people. And there's this love of uh, things like uh, close, you know, close up magic and card tricks and, and, and these little things about him that I think make him uh, a little strange, but, but so fun to watch. Who does Jimmy work alongside with in WandaVision and what's their relationship like? So in WandaVision, uh, at least uh, in the episodes that we've seen thus far, Jimmy works very closely with uh, Darcy Lewis um, uh, and he works closely with Monica Rambeau uh, in trying to figure out what's going on in, in this town. And um, uh, um, his his camaraderie, particularly with uh, Darcy Lewis, is, is a very fun dynamic to, to to watch because the two are very different. They're very different from each other. You know, Jimmy is, you know, he's not one to speak badly of people, whereas Darcy will just say what's on her mind. Jimmy is, you know, he's uh, he he he's very, uh, you know, there's an innocence about him, and whereas Darcy will just, you know would just criticize you to your face. Um, uh, so to see them two working together uh, and in particular to see them two getting along so well and to, to, to see that this kind of oddball pairing works so well, uh, I think is, is, is pretty cool. Speaking of that, um, describe the experience of working with Kat. Uh, working with Kat has, uh, um, working with Kat was uh, amazing. Uh, I love Kat. I hadn't worked with her before. I knew of her, obviously. Um, uh, I was a fan of hers, but uh, getting to work with her on, on the show was, was really fun, really fun. And, uh, you know, she's just a, a, a real down to earth, funny, um, smart, talented person. And, uh, uh, and it shows on the screen. And, uh, and, we just had a lot of fun. We just had a lot of fun working uh, uh, on the show together.